What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and on this video I'm gonna be answering a viewer on my thoughts about the diesel industry coming up. So what's going on guys? Welcome back. Now this question is from Steven Steven underscore dot um, whatever. So uh, Steven this one's for you. Um, what's up, man? Quick question. Do you think the future of the diesel industry will be the same since they are pushing more and more electric cars? So if I become a mechanic, worth it. Um, so if becoming a mechanic, worth it. So, um, I did respond to him via messaging and I said, I'll definitely make a video tonight to publish this, uh, for you on Tuesday. Um, but in a short sense, man, diesel industry will stay. Of course, there uh, things will change over time, but for the better. And remember, the trucking industry supplies 70% of the world's goods. So he told me that that all sounds good. Um, he's about to start tech school in 19 months to become a diesel mechanic. Uh, he's 26, and he wants to make sure that he's making the right move and don't end up in debt and no careers and no career in the future. Thanks. Um, so here we go, Steven. This one is all for you. So basically, uh, being in the diesel field is good. I think it's better than the automotive field because in the automotive field, you can make money. It's a little bit uh, tougher um, due to the flat rate system. Now, I don't know if other diesel companies do flat rate, but the one that I'm at doesn't do flat rate systems. So that makes everything easier. It's an hourly pay. Uh, Basically, let me put it at this. Uh, I don't want to say how much I'm getting paid now, but I'll tell you what I started out with. What I started out with was $19.50 an hour. Um, I'm not at that anymore. You know, I moved up a bit. So that actually, you know, is good pay for someone who didn't know anything about diesels. I, I started without knowing anything about diesels, and I ended up getting into this job that ended up training me for free, and I didn't have to pay for any school or anything. So if you can find... A, uh, a, a corporation that will you know pay for you to learn and whatnot they'll they'll train you and that's like the best you can get because nothing beats hands-on um so you're you were wondering about if the trucks are going to become electric seeing as how electric cars are being thrown out i believe eventually i believe they will a lot of these trucks are starting to get much more advanced um e electronic wise uh, they, we have a lot of stuff such as the DEF, DEF and stuff like that. So that basically helps reduce the emissions and whatnot. And, um, you know, so the trucks are starting to get a little bit more advanced, but don't let that scare you. You can always, um, it's, it's always good knowledge to learn. Everything is always going to move forward. Um, and look. In my previous videos before, I did say that, you know, I don't really like being a mechanic. Um, I love doing it as a hobby and doing it for myself. Do I love doing it as a career? Honestly, my answer is still no. I don't. Um, I, I love helping people. I love making these YouTube videos. This is stuff that I love to do. And my life is all situated about, you know, doing the most that I can, invest wisely so I can spend the rest of my life doing the things I love. Now, the career is not a bad field. There are other trades out there that actually pay a lot more money and is less strenuous on your body. I know for a fact my friend does electrician. He got himself into a nice union company. Um, they are paying for him to go to school, so he's getting his bachelor's degree fully paid. He's, I forgot how much he started out with, but he is working for them as an apprentice. After five years, he's going to be situated to, to making a good amount of money. I think he told me up to 56 an hour. Uh, it's union. After 20 years, he completely retires, and he's, he's in a pension plan, 401k, everything. So he's basically set with that. Uh, there's plumbing. There's uh, welding. I know wel welders, make a lot go welders make a lot of money just for a small weld. You know, it's like 400 bucks and they're pretty much set. I know a lot of welders who love what they do and they make a lot of money. Um, the, the diesel stuff, like I grew up around cars. 
I don't get me wrong. I love wrenching. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. Um, but it, it does take a toll on your body eventually. If you're not in good fit shape, if you don't exercise a lot, if you don't lift weights, you're going to have a hard time. Um, especially if you're not a big dude, like I'm not a big dude. I'm not tall, but I am strong. Um, I do go to the gym and I'm trying to get back into shape. So like I've, I've worked my way around it. Uh, there are females in the diesel industry as well. And, um, you know, if they can do it, so can you, but it's all about what you like. Don't just do something for the money, because if you're going to do this for the money, you're going to find yourself miserable. Um, you know, I'm doing it right. And I, I shouldn't even say that because technically like it pays good for me. So that's what I'm doing it for it right now. But look at the pros. The pros is trade school versus college. Now in trade school, I don't know why teachers in high school don't promote trade schools as much. I feel like they all look at it like, like you're, you're the lowest person on the totem pole, but that's actually not true. Instead of you spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on college to go sit behind a desk, punch some numbers on a keyboard, which I'm not trying to put them down. You know, if that's what you like, go ahead, go for it. I'm all for you. Be the best, you know, computer typer you can be. But put it this way, you're going to put $100,000 in debt into college. You know, some people don't even know what they're going to do and they're going to get a useless degree like, um, what do you call it? Liberal arts. Now, I don't care who fights with me on this one. It's a freaking useless degree. Liberal arts is nothing. You can't do that. Can't do nothing with that. And the fact that colleges allow people to take courses like that for liberal arts is, is beyond me. Like, what I usually recommend to people is take off a year or two from high school. After you graduate high school, take off a year or two. Go work. Go explore yourself, figure out what it is that you want to do, and then go to school. Don't just jump right into college, start spending money, and going into debt for no reason. I don't believe that's the smartest thing to do. And when I have kids in the future, I'm going to tell them the same thing. Guys, you're done with high school? Go ahead. Go out in the world, get a job, do something, do anything. I don't care what it is. Figure yourself out. See what you like to do. Try everything except drugs, but try everything. And whatever you figure that you want to specialize in, whether it being a trade or in college, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a lawyer, you want to be whatever, you want to be a businessman, go for it. I got your back 100%. But, you know, people are different. If you're good with your hands, Stephen, and you like dealing with trucks and um, you, you want to really get into that, go for it. I'm all on you. Now, you wanted to avoid debt. Here is the real thing to avoid debt. First off, stay off the Snap-on truck. Stay off at the Matco truck. Um, buy your tools online. Go to Harbor Freight. Go to Northern Tools, depending on what, con what, what area you're in, if there is one of those. Go to these tool stores. Look for what's on sale. Buy them for what's on sale. Actually, I'll leave a link in the description below for a DeWalt tool set that I actually picked up that has some of the basic necessities that you actually need to do what you need to do. Um, of course, you're going to need a toolbox, but honestly, man, don't let snap on. Don't let none of those guys fool you. You're just going to go into crazy debt for something. Look, what Matco was telling me a toolbox, one of their toolbox costs 4500 and, and he's saying that like he's so proud. That's a great toolbox. That's a damn down payment for a car. I will not pay that. That's a down payment for a car. Go to Harbor Freight. Go buy one. Go on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, depending on what country you are, whatever it is, go on Facebook Marketplace. Look at what people are selling. I've seen people sell toolboxes filled with tools for $300, $400. That is a steal of a deal. Buy them. Buy secondhand tools. Go to thrift shops. Buy secondhand tools. Anything that you can go to garage sales, thrift shops, look online, look on Amazon, look on eBay, buy them online and save yourself a ton of money. Do not follow the crowd. Do not go on these trucks. You know, you're just going to pay obscene markups. Go to Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight is starting to shoot out some good quality. There's the Icon series. There's the uh, professional series from Harbor Freight. And I personally use those and I love them. I think they, they they're so good. Plus, they are lifetime warranty, so you're not losing out. Just because it's cheap, 
you're not losing out. It's a lifetime warranty. So at the end of the day, it's a win-win. Electric tools. I started buying the Earthquake series. I've had that for a while now. That Earthquake series, it's still holding up to par. It's really good and it's strong. Um, what else they got? They got the three. They got the half inch gun, I think the electric one. That one pulls off those truck lug nuts like nothing. Though the Harbor Freight's stepping up their game, guys. So, you know, Stephen, go go get that from there. Go to Harbor Freight. Go to Sears or Sears is not even open. Go to Lowe's. Get some Craftsman. Go look at when things are on sale. You know, for a toolbox, go to Harbor Freight or go on Facebook Marketplace. Look for tools on Facebook Marketplace. Look on Amazon. I will leave links in the description below for you so you can click on certain things that you want and see what you want. I can I can make you a list of uh, diesel tech starter kits from what I personally use. Um, some stuff the shop actually supplies. But like certain things like ratchets, wrenches, which I'm sure you have if you're into this automotive thing, diesel thing. Um, you know, certain electric tools. I'll basically pave your way. I don't really even use much in the field. Um, and I never go on those trucks. Every time those guys come in, they always try to get me to come in to buy something. And I just say no. I like I just say no, I'm busy, I'm sorry, no. Um, I don't need anything right now, I'm good. You know, I'm not I don't have time to waste and spend unnecessary money. Whenever I get paid at the end of the week, because I get paid every week, I get paid every week and I put everything into my bank account and I save my money. That way I don't run into debt. Um, if I need a tool, here is my rule of thumb. If I borrow a tool from someone more than three times, I'm going to buy that tool because I know I need it. Okay? Um, and I always look around. I shop online. Like I said, I shop at Harbor Freight. I shop at Northern Tools because that's what we have here in Florida. Um, Northern Tools, for those of you who don't know, is like a Harbor Freight as well, um, but with different brand stuff, and it's it's a little bit higher quality stuff. Um, we also have Tractor Supply, which have some stuff. Uh, I shop at the Walmart. Like honestly, I I don't discriminate against tools. If you're giving me lifetime warranty, um, and it's and it's a good price, I'm taking it. Walmart got some good stuff. Uh, Tractor Supply. Northern Tools, and Harbor Freight. So just, you know, like, just shop smart, okay? Look online, like I'm saying, and you will avoid debt, I guarantee you. But again, Stephen, I cannot tell you what to do with your life. You have to decide if being a diesel tech is something that you want to do. Um, the only way I can see you getting in debt is first, if you're spending a ton of money on school. Second, if you're spending a ton of money on tools. But at the end of the day, having this trade under your belt is something that is great. I cannot guarantee that it'll give you a job for the rest of your life. Um, will, you, will you be able to find work? Yes, of course. You'll be able to find tons of work everywhere and anywhere. That it, Hands down, that's not a problem. Um, will you get fired from jobs or laid off? I can't guarantee yes or no. Uh, you know, this is the way the world works. Everyone's easily replaceable. You have to know that. Uh, this is why I am all for owning my own business and going for that because you're in control of your paycheck. You're in control of whatever happens and goes wrong. And if something does happen to go wrong, you only have yourself to blame. So basically, you know, Stephen, if, if you're good with your hands, you love dealing with cars, you want to get into trucks. Trucks are way easier than cars, by the way, because everything is so big and right there in your face. Um, go for it. Just so you know, tires are about 150 pounds. They're pretty heavy because uh, I deal with the semi-trucks. I don't know what kind of diesel you're going to go into, either if it's semi-trucks or you, th they got forklift mechanics. They got all kinds of different stuff. Um, they got the construction uh, mechanics. If you work for Caterpillar, I heard Caterpillar is pretty good. Um, yeah, that's about it, Steven. I really don't have much more to say on that, and I probably bored you for about 15 minutes with this rant. But, um, Steven, I hope that helped you. Please leave a message or comment in the um, comment section below. Smash the like button for me, Steven. Um, if this helped you, I hope it did. Um, you guys as well, not just Steven, but I'm speaking to the entire crowd, even though I singled out Steven. 
But uh, this video was technically for him, but I want it to be for everyone. Um, so guys, like, comment, subscribe. Steven, you guys, all of y'all, check out the link in the description below for those of you who are interested in this field. I will leave a bunch of links on Amazon for really good tools at really good prices for things that you will need that'll help you in this field. So with that being said, guys, peace out, and I will see you later. Peace.